Hey there, you great people. I hope you have been well. So today is a beautiful, beautiful uh, sunny day here, about 21, 22 Celsius, a little bit of light wind, but it's quite a warm wind. So we're going out in the garden in a minute and we're going to have a barbecue. I'm just going to show you some of the things I have prepared behind me. Let's have a look. So I've done two of these uh, chicken skewers. As you can see, it's got chicken breast on, uh, red pepper and tomato. And I've seasoned these two uh, chicken breast skewers uh, with salt, pepper, garlic powder, ginger powder, um, chili flake and chili powder and coriander powder. Then we've just got a vegetable skewer here, which is literally red pepper, green pepper, onion and vine tomato literally on that i've just put salt and pepper and a little surprise on the end you can see that that is a pickled jalapeno uh, piece that'll be really nice then i've done three of these amazing and colorful looking uh, freshwater prawn skewers with obviously the freshwater prawns on yellow pepper and tomato on these three prawn skewers i have put salt pepper lemon juice coriander powder, little bit of garlic powder, and some chili powder. So that's them done. We're gonna head out into the garden in a moment and get the barbecue lit. I've already prepared quite a lot of wood out there. I filled my wheelbarrow uh, with bits of wood and logs, and I've already got the barbecue st stacked, sorry, already stacked and ready to light. Let's head outside. So we are now out in the garden. As you can see, I'll get you right in there. I have the barbecue stacked and ready to light. I've just been back inside. Got a plate with some kitchen roll on just to wipe the hands. Long lighter for lighting the barbecue. I'll see my, um, I forgot your call now, uh, tongs, obviously, and a fork and obviously this plate. And you can probably see we've got quite a lot of wood in the barbecue. Quite a lot of pine and quite a bit of this sycamore. Um, clean the grill as well it doesn't look that clean but it is clean uh, and we're gonna get this lit very very shortly as well as the two chicken skewers the one vegetable skewer and the three prawn skewers I'm also gonna do one of these hot and spicy chicken steaks from Tesco yes I'm gonna cook it on the barbecue very slowly off towards the edge because really you're supposed to put them in the oven really not barbecue but it'll be fine I've done it before I'm going to try one of these red hen gastro uh, sun fried chicken breast steaks as well. Unfortunately, I literally have no bread and no bread rolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them on these Warburton's flats uh, with a little bit of mayonnaise and black pepper. So this is how I normally light the barbecue with some petrol. Only, please only use a tiny little bit of a drip on there and at arm's length, please use one of these long lighters like you'll see remember only a tiny bit of pe petrol please uh, be safe with petrol and give it respect so as you can see barbecue absolutely roaring obviously as you've just seen a little with petrol by the way remember with petrol just drizzle a little bit of petrol on there and at arm's length use one of the long lighters please please be safe um, if you're using petrol or diesel uh, to light a barbecue I'm going to get a good bed of coals down right now. Uh, I'm going to keep topping it with bits of wood and then we're going to get the grill on top, which is right here at the moment. And then we're going to probably do a prawn skewer or two first, which will be incredible. And I'm really, really hungry. It's like half past six in the evening right now. So we burnt a little bit of wood down and topped it back up. Got the grill on there now and we're going to do one of these um, prawn skewers that I showed you earlier. These are small cold water or fresh water prawns. We've obviously yellow pepper, uh, tomato and prawns on there. The tomatoes by the way are cherry tomatoes that have been halved. And I think I said earlier, these are soaked in lemon juice, salt, pepper, uh, coriander powder, and I think a little bit of chili flake as well. A little bit of garlic also. So we're gonna put this off towards the edge of the barbecue because it won't take very long at all i'm really really looking forward to this because like i said just now i am so hungry 
So here is the prawn skewer done. I've literally done it for about two or three minutes. The prawns take seconds on the barbecue. I just wanted to get a little bit of colour on the yellow pepper and the tomatoes, which I've achieved. This is going to be really, really nice. And like I said just now, and I keep saying I'm so hungry. So I'm going to enjoy this and then I'll put something else on the barbecue in a moment. Right, so prawn skewer absolutely demolished. And next, I know this might seem a bit boring, but the skewer I've made with vine, Italian vine tomato, uh, onion, and yellow pepper, which I've seasoned, I think I said at the start of the video, with salt, pepper, coriander powder, and I think I put some lemon juice on there. I know this seems boring, but I'm really looking forward to this vegetable um, skewer. Let's get it on the barbecue. And by the way, um, let's stick it right on there. Just on the edge, you can hear it sizzling. That looks amazing. I think this might be one of the first, if not, probably the only barbecue video I've done where I actually start the barbecue in the light and maybe I might even finish it in the light. However, as you can see on screen now, and as I showed you in the last video, I have the modification frame for my new GoPro uh, with the official genuine GoPro light attached on top. So now whether it be sea fishing, uh, out here at night barbecuing down by the river whatever I might be doing um, I've got the light now so the quality of the video will be fantastic let's cook this up for about five minutes or so keep turning it off towards the edge of the barbecue and enjoy it and then up next probably a chicken skewer, skewer or maybe one of some fried chicken breast skewers on one of Warburton sins with mayo and black pepper so we've done the vegetable skewer for about five minutes or so. We've got the tomatoes, the peppers and the onion really nicely charred. I'm going to be sensible for once and use tongs to actually lift this off rather than my own fingers and hopefully we don't lose any of the vegetables and fruit obviously, tomatoes are fruit. Then go this now and we'll do something completely different. We've had a prawn skewer obviously, now we're going to have this. I'll do one of those amazingly seasoned chicken skewers in a moment. So, I know it's kind of the same because I already had one of these at the start of the video, but I'm going to put, without burning the camera and the light, one of these uh, fresh water, cold water, whatever you want to call them, uh, prawn skewers on with the yellow pepper on the, uh, the tomato and the seasoning. We'll definitely be doing a chicken skewer next, that is for damn sure. Um, which will be fantastic. Thank you so much, by the way, for watching. And we're not done yet. We're going to do some more food yet, which you should all enjoy. And please follow my recipes because this food is going to be incredible, I assure you. So that's definitely, definitely done. You might call that slightly charcoal or blackened. But the reason why is because I was chopping a little bit more wood. I'm getting a little bit low on wood. Um, and we've still got a few more things to cook, obviously. Um, I'll still enjoy this anyway. A um, little bit sooty, but it might add to the flavour. Who knows? So it's time for one of these. These amazing chicken breast, uh, red pepper and tomato skewers with all the seasonings I put on it. I'm trying to get it in shot, but they're so large what I've made that I'm going to have to extend my arm out like a long, long way. This is going to go on the barbecue right here towards the edge and we'll probably do this for about 10 minutes or so keep turning it turning it turning it without it rolling off or falling off then enjoy it you've got to start the video i explain what i season this way if it was salt pepper coriander powder chili powder chili flake um ginger powder um uh, garlic granules or powder and a few other bits i think that was it to be fair so We'll eat this in a minute. I'm still very, very hungry. Like I said, I've got a few bits and pieces. I've been down to the river in between and relit the barbecue and all the rest. But still having fun out here. Still warm. Obviously, completely pitch black now. We're like half past 10 or 11 p.m. or something like that. I don't even know the time. I don't care. I'm having a good time. Hopefully, you're enjoying the video. So the skewer is roasting nicely on the barbecue. Um, I'm going to enjoy this in a minute, like I said, I keep saying I'm so, so freaking hungry, I could not wait to get the barbecue going, but at the same time, 
uh, wood takes a long time and lots of effort to chop and split for these barbecue videos so I didn't want to start the barbecue too early and I did say earlier on I might even finish this barbecue during daylight but never mind so I really hope you enjoyed that barbecue video and if you're wondering why it's now light again I've had to record this outro separately uh, this is actually the next day because the light there on top of my GoPro the battery on it um, died so it needed charging so like i said i really hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the food i did on the barbecue those amazing prawn skewers and the chicken skewers the chicken breast steaks I actually just put in the oven um just now so i'll do them and enjoy them in a bit i'm going to have some wonderful wonderful content for you on this new gopro um, to look out for in the next day or two and also a competition this Friday which will run for two weeks as they normally do and also I'll be paying the winner from the last competition this Friday I've not forgot um, I'm just going to have to set everything back up with a different email address like my PayPal, eBay and all the other stuff thank you for watching Please remember to go and check some of my 525 other videos out on this, Paul B. Hossin 85. And please do not forget to like, especially subscribe, share and hit the notification bell. See you all later on and have a wonderful week and weekend.